It's game time, and we have a battle of two power forwards. Let's find out which one hits harder. Cue it up. What's up guys, Rising Phoenix One. Hey, this video is presented by the EA Creator Network and a shout out to the EA Community Manager Kits and Chalukya because they're the ones who got us these cards so we could share them with you. All right, all right, it is game time and evidently it is uh, Power Forward Week. We talked about that in a video we put up last week, but we have a ton of Grandmaster Power Forwards right now. So let us know in the comments below who you think the best currently available Power Forward is. Today, though, we're looking at just two of them and I think they're both pretty good. So we're gonna go with a head-to-head, -head, no holds barred, boxing match between Jimmy Butler and Zion Williamson and see if we can figure out who's the stronger power forward for game time. That means we're gonna run two and showdown, one playing offense only with Zion and another one playing offense only with Jimmy Butler. Let's take a quick look at Jimmy Butler's boost and he has a very good boost, a plus three scoring machine boost to team. So that's a plus 30 boost. Athleticism, I mean, he's got great agility. He has some speed, but for a power forward, his strength at 75 is very low. His vertical is okay at 98. Rebounding at 98 and 105 for defensive is interesting. I mean, 105 is a big number and then his box out is lower. I kind of like that. Um, his inside scoring looks very good and his perimeter shooting looks very good, except for that really low 78 shooting touch. We've had Jimmy Butler builds like this before with that low shooting touch. And candidly, he seems to shoot through it just fine. And of course, we're gonna have some good boosts. Butler cards always have good defense, 95 long ball, 102 block, 92 steal. So yeah, I mean, for a 106 card, it's pretty much just the block. He's got a big triple threat number. He has a handful of really big post numbers. 105 Chris Paul style, so I, we got him already. Now that just threw me off. Oh yeah, we're on post. All right, so yeah, that's Jimmy Butler and a really nice boost to team. It would be nice to have this boost at the small forward position, to be honest with you. All right, let's go to the card in the other corner. Zion Williamson. Zion has a plus three slasher boost to team. That's boosting inside scoring, and if I recall correctly, offensive post. Athleticism looks pretty good. I mean, decent speed and agility, massive strength at 105, great vertical and tip in at 102, really good rebounding numbers at 103 and 104. Uh, box out on the defensive ones is a little high for my liking, but still, all pretty good. His inside offensive game is ridiculous. All triple digits, we're not worried about that free throw. And his perimeter shooting looks good too. 97 on ball, 98 block, 98 interception. He has some pretty good defensive stats. Uh, not great, but decent. And then he also has a handful of really high stats that I think are just wasted in the post. So that's Zion Williamson. Let's go to our first lineup. So we're gonna be playing both as 112 overalls and uh, we're gonna to have to change it around for Jimmy Butler. I'll show that to you before we jump into showdown. 15 to athleticism, three to rebounding, 14 to inside scoring with a massive 20 to dunk, 16 perimeter shooting, seven to deep, six to offensive post. Now, when we put in Jimmy Butler, we're gonna go up to a 113. See that? All right, so we're gonna have to go and we're gonna put our guy LeBron James in there. That'll take it back down to a 112. And then of course, here we go. Uh, so the athleticism goes down to 12, but the rebounding goes up to five. Inside scoring is still just fine at 11 with a 17 dunk. Perimeter shooting jumps to plus 19. Defense jumps to plus nine. Offensive post is at plus five. Defensive post is at plus two. All right, so we're playing with Zion first. All right, there we go. 
Let's go into showdown. We're going to run one with this lineup with Zion playing, and then we're going to run another one with Jimmy Buckets in there. Let's get it. Okay, it's a 105 Season 8 lineup. Um, we're playing with just our power forward, so we'll go ahead and play this. We normally wouldn't. High probability that the upside down will kick in and uh, our defense will be fairly ineffective and they'll score a bunch of points. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we're starting with Zion. Big lane, reverse, one-handed, boom. All right, nice start for Zion. I guess there's no doubt that uh, probably both these cards have dunk packages. All right, I know they have dunk packages. <laughs> Oh no. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Upside down. It's here. All right. Three. Top of the key. Boom for Zion. Let's go. Let's go. My goodness. Yep, this is what the upside down looks like. Come on, Zion. Oh, windmill dunk. Nice. Nice. I mean, Curry's just gonna have major trouble with this uh, 105. John Walcard, nice board by Kyrie Irving. There's Zion, boom, one-handed slam, looking good, looking good so far. I've only played one each with these lineups. My goodness. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow, okay. Um, yeah, on defense, uh, the AI's offense, it's, uh, it's the upside down. Nothing we can do about it. Nothing we can do about it. Just get the ball to Zion. That's the first thing we can do about it. All right, top of the key again, boom. Maybe we can hold on one possession. That would be fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, all you can do is laugh, right? All you can do is laugh. We've got a uh, plus seven overall advantage. Pump fake by Zion. Look out. Boom. All right. <laughs> Come on, Curry. Do something with that uh, John Walkhart. His AI is very good. No way. All right. But he finally missed one. Zion, take it. Top of the key, boom. He's hitting everything. He's hitting everything. Let's go. Come on, please. Cur they, finally, Curry gets a steal. Zion's got an open lane. Oh my, that almost didn't go in. That almost didn't go in. He's got a 124 dunk, that's ridiculous. One away from being maxed out at 125. Good defense, and it goes in anyway. We have given up 11 points. Oh my goodness. All right, Zion in the slot against his zone. Boom. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, the game glitched and caused this. Did you see that? It froze for like one second and so we didn't get the block. All right, Zion, and he misses the dunk. Oh, do, 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 living in the upside down. Oh, good block by MB. Come on, Zion. Bring it home. Boom. All right, not bad. 24 points for Zion Williamson. Hit everything from the outside. Missed one dunk for absolutely no reason. And we gave up a ton of points because that's what happens when you're uh, playing a much lower overall team. It's called the Upside Down. All right, it's Jimmy's turn. This time it's a 108. So uh, we have a plus four advantage in air quotes. We'll see how many points they score. Once again, Curry's gotta go against that John Walcard. If you haven't noticed, we have an all game time theme lineup. All right, Jimmy, go in there, splits them, windmill, Boom, great start for Jimmy Buckets. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Curry. Oh, geez, oh, geez. Oh, he missed it. Rebound by Butler. 
Zion didn't get any boards. Jimmy from the wing, boom. On the other hand, Zion didn't have very many opportunities to get boards because they sunk all their shots, almost. I think they missed like two. Come on, get him, get him, get him. There you go, there you go, Steph. All right, where's Jimmy? There he is, nice, nice assist by Curry. Windmill dunk by Jimmy Buckets, let's go. Oh my goodness. Nice slam, nice reverse slam by Kalov. Seven to two. Catch and shoot, top of the key, boom. Yeah, it doesn't look like that low shooting touch is hurting our guy, Jimmy Butler, at all. That's been my experience with him, as limited as it is, that he can shoot. But so can Zion, you know? That's, that's the thing, that's what makes it so tough. Oh, <laughs> contested, just contested, seriously? All right, all right. Little midi in the paint. Nice, nice. So we're getting a little bit of everything with Jimmy, let's go. Don't let him drive. Jimmy gets another board. We're getting an opportunity for boards now, right? Uh-oh, off the glass, and it goes down. Nice, 112 scoring with contact. That's why that stat matters, right? Scoring with contact. Wait a minute. Scoring with contact is a big stat. They're all over him. Double challenged by two guys, and it drops. All right, I see how it is. Top of the key, Jimmy. Boom. Nothing but net. Let's go. Let's go. Can Curry get wall again? Nice tip. Curry picks it up. Where's Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? Come on, Jimmy. I don't want to throw it into the middle of all those guys. There he is. Come on. Now, oh, geez, he keeps moving around. They won't throw it to him. Pop it. Top of the key. He missed it. Oh, jeez. All right, so this is getting interesting now. Great defense by Butler. Nice board by Butler. We're going to hold it for a buzzer beater by our power forward. Deep in the wing. Boom. All right, Jimmy scores 20 points. Made all his dunks. Missed one, three. Zion missed a dunk and hit all his threes. But Jimmy got two. Well, anyway, GG to our opponent. Well, one thing is clear. Neither one of these cards knocked out the other card. This one went to the judge's scorecard. Jimmy Butler missed just one of his outside shot, hit all of his dunks, and got two defensive boards. Remember that 105 defensive rebounding stat? Zion hit all of his outside shots, missed one of his dunks, and got no boards. Based on that gameplay and that gameplay alone, Jimmy Butler was the better card. This is a really, really tough one. So which one would you pick if you had to pick one? And if that one was gonna be in my starting lineup, I can't get past the big strength, big vertical, big rebounding numbers for Zion. If I had to pick just one and it's gonna be on my bench, it's Jimmy because he has the better boost. Bigger boost and I think a more helpful boost. So I don't know if that helps at all guys, but with that, it's done, it's over. And as always, peace out.